Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin is still sedated tonight after his heart stopped beating during the game last night in Cincinnati. His family is thanking first responders and medical personnel for their support. He suffered a rare condition as a result of being hit in the chest at the exact right moment during a heartbeat and he lost blood flow to his brain. The Hamlins are also thanking well wishers and the Saints and all the other NFL teams have changed their Twitter logos to DeMar's number three with the note pray for DeMar. You'll see the pray for DeMar sign at the Bills Stadium today as well. Now the team says he spent the night in intensive care and remains there today in critical condition. So what happened to Hamlin's heart? That's a big question a lot of us have. Medical reporter Mike Ferris showing us now in studio with a closer look. That video was just hard to watch. Absolutely. Everyone was glued to that. And it was a heart-stopping moment for millions as they watched the Buffalo Bills medical team perform CPR on the field to safety DeMar Hamlin. Medics also brought an automated defibrillator later to his side. So what may have happened to the 24 year old football player in Monday night's game? Here's our story. Yeah. This is the electrical recovery period yeah. of the heart. We turn to Tulane cardiac electrophysiologist Dr. Owen Donnellan. He's not treated Hamlin but is an expert. Signs point to sudden cardiac arrest when the heart suddenly loses its normal rhythm and stops pumping blood. Immediately following blunt upper chest trauma would be highly suspicious for this condition. This is a normal heartbeat. Electricity is sent through the heart, making the four chambers squeeze and release or pump in a precise rhythm. That moves the blood from one chamber to the next to pick up oxygen from the lungs and spread it around the body through the blood. Now, if there's an interruption right in this recovery period when the electricity pauses for just a fifth to a half a second, it throws off the coordination, the rhythm, and the two big chambers at the bottom just wiggle and don't pump. During the initial phase of that recovery period, if either a blunt trauma occurs or a premature beat, it sets in motion, you know, ventricular fibrillation. The only way to get the heart rhythm back is to shock it with paddles or an AED, automated external defibrillator. CPR just helps circulate the blood until that rhythm is restored. Reports are that Hamlin's vitals were normal in the hospital Monday night and the CPR was started fast on the field. I think it's a promising sign. Uh, the quicker the return of spontaneous circulation occurs, the more likely the, the person is to have a better outcome. Doctors are likely checking to see if there was an undiagnosed problem with the heart structure or electricity from birth that caused the sudden cardiac arrest. If there isn't, and it was only from the hit, that is called commotio cordis. It's rare, 30 cases a year, mostly in young boys hit by a baseball or hockey puck in the chest. Now, the question for Hamlin is, was there any organ, especially brain damage, when his heart stopped pumping? And this doctor says he's cautiously optimistic. Now, if there is an underlying condition, he may need an implanted defibrillator. If not, and it was from the hit, it would likely be that he would just recover on his own. Now, the only NFL player to die on the field was in 1971, Detroit Lions wide receiver Chuck Hughes. He was only 28 years old and had a heart attack. His was from a clot that broke off from a clogged artery. All right, Meg, thank you so much.